Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka DeBud.com, with a surf forecast video update. This surf forecast video update brought to you by Champion Cycling. Three locations, Arlington, Jacksonville Beach, and Mandarin. If you want to ride like a champion, ride with Champion Cycling. Taking a quick look at the Gulf of Mexico and no need for us to tell you what's going on here. I've been watching a trough of low pressure last three or four days now and it looks like the National Weather Service out of the Tallahassee office is forecasting an area of low pressure to move ashore along the Panhandle beaches later on this afternoon and uh, seas could be building up to 8 to 10 feet. Uh, it depends on if this thing tries to get organized uh, before it moves ashore. Uh, nothing out of the National Hurricane Center that it's going to get a named system in here, but we could see the same effects as a tropical depression or a tropical storm later on today. Uh, looking ahead, here is what looks to be the last area of convection that's going to be building throughout the morning and moving off towards the north, towards the Panhandle beaches. Switching gears now over to the Atlantic and we're looking at a possible fun surf alert coming uh, probably at the end of the weekend, maybe going into first of next week as an upper level feature, upper level trough in here uh, is forecast to come sliding through the Bahamas, through the Florida Straits and on to the Gulf of Mexico. Now the models have been back and forth on this. Uh, we also have this tropical wave that is going to be approaching the islands and it looks like like this trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere is going to stay ahead of the tropical wave. Now, there was some suggestion from the models that the northern extension could catch up to this trough of low pressure, and we could see some development in the Bahamas. Um, it's not likely, uh, again, if you follow our forecast, you know we mentioned that these upper level features, although rare, sometimes can work their way down to the surface and develop a surface low. So, this is what we're going to be watching for coming up in the extended period. Here's an image we captured from weatherstreet.com. Now this is for Sunday and as you can see Weather Street forecast map showing uh, some cyclonic circulation in here towards the Bahamas on Sunday and this the models are forecasting this to come through the Florida Straits and then off towards the Louisiana coast. Again they've been flip-flopping a little bit. The GFS had suggested that the northern extension of that tropical wave could get in here and then something develop and then move off towards towards the central Florida coast. So here's how this looks this morning in real time. We've got a tropical wave now that is passing just south of Puerto Rico, moving off towards the west. This is helping to influence some convection in here on this upper level low that's currently over the Bahamas. In the far right hand corner of this uh, motion here, you can see this next tropical wave lifting off towards the west northwest. And then here is this upper level uh, trough feature that's supposed to get cut off or piece of energy of this is going to slide into the Bahamas over the course of the next three to four days. So that's what we're going to be watching. Here's the latest look at the wind wave forecast. And as you can see, this northern extension of the tropical wave that's currently moving south of Puerto Rico is going to help enhance a east-southeast fetch in here uh, towards the central Bahamas. Seas increasing 7 to 8 feet next 24 and 4 to 5 feet northeast Florida. Moving into the 48-hour period, you can see seas maintaining in the 7 foot range east of the central Bahamas and then bumping up to five to six feet just off the northeast Florida coast going into 72. Again, seas remaining seven feet now move, moving towards the northern Bahamas and you can see a solid six foot line now from the northeast Florida coast down in here through central Florida. Now this should lead to a little bit of a longer period groundswell developing. Don't hold us to it, but the latest out of the Atlantic forecast branch is showing some 13 second swell periods now developing just east of the outer banks. So make sure you stay tuned to the forecast.